Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. So I hope everyone's doing well out there. Um, today I'm kind of have a unboxing video of something that I ordered for myself for Christmas. But I was trying to figure out uh, a few things about what I was looking at before I ordered it. So we're going to move over to the computer side of things and uh, take a look at, uh, before I unbox it, what I got and uh, some of the specs and everything about it kind of interesting because I don't see a lot of these online um, at least not for sale but you could find reviews and everything else on them uh, let's get over there all right so we're on the computer side of things and I was trying to figure out you know what did I want for Christmas you know there's really nothing I need um, there's always there's always once but there was really nothing that I actually wanted which is very surprisingly but I kind of went hunting on eBay just to check things out. I, I do a lot of eBay shopping as far as musical instruments go, and uh, sometimes I come across some really good deals. Uh, if it's not a good deal or a great deal, uh, then I'll pass it up. So regardless of how much it is and, and you know, condition-wise and everything else goes. And with me, you know, I don't mind buying something that is a little bit um, well, needs a little bit of help. I don't mind buying it because I know what I'm doing and I know how to do it and uh, it just works out to where, you know, if I ever sell it or do a resale on something that I bought and I bought it where it was a very low price and had some chips or some scratches, you know, I can repair that. That's not a big deal as far as cosmetic stuff. If it needs help as far as electronics goes or setup or whatnot, um, replacing parts I can do that as well so that works out pretty good and if I ever decide to a, do a resale of that item um, I can actually sell it for more than what I purchased it for because other sellers that are selling the same item um, in great condition or very good condition are getting more for what that item is and uh, you know not selling it because of a cosmetic issue or needs repairs or something and selling it for a very low price so what I ended up doing is I you know hunted down on eBay kind of like what I always do and I came across this here which is a Ibanez uh, EDA 900 electric bass guitar now the one that I have is not this one. Okay, this one is going for six hundred and forty-nine dollars and is still active on eBay today. So what I ended up finding was this one here. Now there were sixteen bidders on this, including myself. Um, it started off at like two hundred and some odd dollars, and. Uh, as the timer went up, it started going up in price, but it wasn't going up very much. So I looked at the photos and it comes with a case. Uh, made sure in the photos that you know the pictures uh, weren't showing any major uh, flaws or, or problems in the finish, in the fretboard, you know, bad frets, whatnot, and made a decision okay well if one is selling for 200 or 649 dollars and this one is selling for two something uh i'm going to throw a bid at it so i end up throwing a bid at it and the outcome was basically 270 bucks out the door all right now i did have to pay for shipping on it but it wasn't too bad so sold i was the buyer and the specs on this thing which i'm going to bring them up right now so i don't have to like waste a lot of time with uh, doing this video and getting to the actual unboxing part. I'm going to post the specs of this thing up uh, and you guys can see that it's got some interesting options.
So upon inspection of this thing, uh, other than it uh, kind of feels like it's a little bit dirty, not, not bad at all. It's a matte silver flake finish um, in very good shape. There is no issues as far as chipping, scratches, or any other issues as far as cracks, dents. Uh, the body is contoured over here so it does have a dip in here I kind of noticed that when I unbox it there are some adjustments here and there's a couple of adjustments over here batteries probably over here um, so I am going to read it did come with the owner's manual for this thing the neck is really nice no cracking no issues with that on either side of the neck as far as the headstock goes it does have a very small headstock and with the reverse tuners on this thing um, so yeah, this is going to be pretty interesting. The frets are in very good shape. There is no indentations. Uh, it does look like it's been it's been played. Uh, you could kind of tell by the shiny spots where the strings are, but there's no dip in the fret. Fretboard is dirty, so that does have to be clean. Um, rosewood fretboard with only two dot inlays at the 12th fret. Single humbucker inside of this thing. Um, yeah, so this is going to be pretty nice. It does need a good clean though, so there is a little bit of oxidation on some of the silver pieces, which I'm going to have to clean. Uh, the bridge also, very nice bridge. And uh, yeah, so I will be restringing this thing. I will be cleaning up the fretboard. I will be polishing the frets. These, this has got some kind of like eh, somewhat low profile frets on it. They're not very, very high at all. And they're not very wide. They're not thick, heavy frets, surprisingly, for a base. So, yeah, looks pretty good to me. And uh, I'll be plugging her in and testing everything out. It's got the three band equalizer on here, or the two band, actually, it's two band over here. Um, and you have probably a, a separate tone or a separate volume, which I'm going to have to look that up and, and well, after I plug it in and check things out of it. Because it's supposed to have a uh, a bridge pickup on this thing, the uh, Piazzo, Piso, Piso, I think they call them, on this thing as well. But as far as everything else goes, the neck is straight. Um, there is no relief in it, so I'm going to have to add some. Not getting no fret buzz, you know, for the neck being so straight, I still have some little bit of action height at the first fret, not much, um, but that's due to the neck being very, very straight. Just sat overnight down here in the box just to make sure everything was going to be okay with it because it is co very cold outside and uh, kind of dry. So I thought it'd sit before I opened it up. All right, be on the lookout for this and. Uh, I'm going to be doing the drawing pretty soon on the Kramer giveaway guitar, so be on the lookout for that as well. So you guys, uh, I'm probably not going to use the number thing, I'm probably going to use just go by name. So whoever's name is picked, uh, I think it's going to be a lot easier because uh, I do think that there are some numbers that have been duplicated and I don't feel like contacting the person and saying, hey, you got to change your number. So I'm going to go by name. Anyways. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Be on the lookout for this thing as far as, uh, you know, going over it, doing a setup on it, uh, making sure there's no scratchy pots or anything on there. And, uh, yeah, you guys take it easy. Thanks for watching my unboxing. And catch you later.